what 188 max no way what the hell we can still get more it's been a while since Distant Horizon been released with shaders. So here's my updated guide for Distant Horizon if you got a low-end PC. Well, I had one with i3 CPU and 12G RAM and it got me like 25 to 30 FPS with the settings I'm gonna show you today. But before that, you really need these other performance mods like Sodium, Sodium Extra, Sodium Race Option, Lithium for Hardcore Entity Culling, Immediately Fast, Dynamic FPS, Modern Fix, More Culling, Krypton Noisium, Kixis, I, I don't know how to say that, why would someone name it like that? That's borderline illegal. But we really need sodium mods or you won't be able to see the same settings here. Before we move on to best shaders that got me 150 FPS, go to your Minecraft setting and set your render distance to 8 or lower and max shadow distance and simulation distance to lowest and then set your frames to unlimited. After that is done, make your way to quality tab and set graphics to fast. Turn off clouds and just copy all the settings here. Turn off smooth lighting too and also turn off map map level to zero since we got like really small renderers since you notice any noise or jitter. Then go to performance tab and make sure to turn off always stiffer chunk updates and turn on fog occl occlusion. Now copy all the settings I have here, just pause and copy everything. Also I have tested the same settings in my Intel i3 PC and got like 30 FPS. But now let's check how much I can get with my RTX 3050 laptop. Okay it's finally time for shaders and the best low end shader in my opinion is Makeup Ultra Fast. It's also recently updated to support Distant Horizon so finally you guys can run DH in your mobile. You can download this shader from link in description and here are the best settings. So go to settings menu and click on profile tab until you get shaderless low written. Then turn on shadows. After that everything here is optional and just for aesthetics. Like bloom and volumetric clouds all depends on your taste what you like. You can actually configure it more if you go to advanced option here but not today. And lastly, let's tweak Distant Horizon settings. So go to Distant Horizon settings. So, and here you can set your render distance. Lowest is 32. Now keep your CPU load to balance and make your way to advanced option and graphic settings. And now go to render quality. And here set this to two blocks. And if your DH looks too blocky, turn it to just a block. Now in vertical quality, keep it to medium and in LOD drop off distance, keep it to extreme or medium. Now we are done here, let's check out how much FPS we are getting. I have already pre-generated a world with Chunky, check out my this video for more about that. And now here we are. I'm not getting a lot of FPS but let's wait a little bit while it loads LOD. Okay, now we are hitting 100 FPS. That's pretty amazing, I can finally put used to my 144Hz monitor full capacity. Well now let's check how much FPS I can get with tweaking a little more settings. So first make sure to turn off shaders before changing DH render distance or it will glitch. Let's check out BSL shaders with minimum settings and we also need to turn down our DH render distance to lowest. Okay, okay, that's not bad. I saw 150, 160 max. Okay, let's check out Makeup Ultra Fast. What? 188 max? No way. What the hell? We can still get more. Hmm, let me look in the sky. Damn, we crossed 200. Oh my god, what? Now let's tweak a little more. I'm just gonna keep it like lowest. Look at that, 274 FPS looking in the sky. And that's not even it, I can get more by lowering my DH render quality, but not today. Bye bye guys, please subscribe and check out this video, it's pretty interesting too.